Welcome back everyone. Now till now we have been learning about different forms of business organizations. We learnt about sole proprietorship, joint Hindu family business, partnership, cooperative society and last but not the least we learnt about the company form of business organization. Now when the person enters he decides about starting the form of a business organization. At that time he'll have to make a choice. Which business to start? Which form of organization to choose? Every form of business organization has some merit, it has some limitations. Now the business person whose basic objective is to multiply the money, he will have to choose the form of business enterprise. Now let's understand and see what are the different factors which the person will consider while choosing the form of business organization. First and the most important factor is the nature of business. If the business requires personal attention and direct contact, in that case, sole proprietorship and partnership firm are preferred. On the other hand, if the firm involves rendering services, they prefer cooperative organization. If the firm requires heavy investment, then a company form of business organization is preferred. Second factor is capital consideration. Such a business which requires less amount of finance, they require sole proprietorship and partnership form of business organization. They choose these form of business organizations. But business activities which require huge financial resources, they prefer company form of business organization. Third factor is degree of control. If the businessman does not lose, want to lose the control over his business, he wants to be independent, he wants to own, manage and control the business himself, he would prefer sole proprietorship firm. But if there is not such consideration and he doesn't mind sharing the ownership, sharing the management of the firm, then in this case, person can go for a partnership or a company form of business organization. Next factor is legal formalities. To avoid legal formalities and prefer easy formation, company can, uh, a person can uh, go for the sole proprietorship or the partnership form of business organizations because these are very easy to form and very easy to dissolve very, without much legal formalities. But if the people, if the person doesn't want to avoid the legal formalities and is ready to comply with all the legal formalities, then he can opt for the company form of business organization or cooperative business organization. On the basis of liability, for higher risk of ventures, people prefer company form of business or the cooperative organization because the liability of members here is limited. Because of the uh, because of the unlimited liability people avoid sole proprietorship and partnership form of business organization so next factor to be considered is the managerial ability business ventures which require efficient management have to, they will have to select the company form of business organization because the professional experts have to be appointed they have to be paid higher salaries and the company is the only form of business organization which is capable of paying the high amount of salaries because of a huge capital investment and because of huge availability of the financial resources. Then on the basis of flexibility of operations, the business which requires high degree of flexibility should opt for sole proprietorship or partnership form of business organization. But making changes and taking decisions may take longer time because there are many legal formalities in the company form of business organization. On the basis of continuity, Sole proprietorship and partnership form are those forms of business organization which can be easily formed, which can be easily dissolved without much legal formalities. But if the enterprises have been set up for a longer period of time and are of permanent nature, then they should go for company form of business organization. So when the person chooses to enter the business, he'll have to decide about the form of business organization Considering the various pros and cons, considering the various benefits, he will have to analyze the merits and limitations of all the forms of business organization and on the basis of that he will decide uh, whether he will be entering which form of business organization. So with this module, with this lecture, the entire chapter is over. Thank you everyone.